Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelson. Ozzy, Harriet, David, and Ricky. They like to go places, enjoy happy times together. And like most of us, they enjoy these moments over again in pictures. Often they send snapshots to their friends. It's always seemed to me that some of the nicest cards of all are the ones that have a picture you take yourself. When you send a picture of your family, it's just like a holiday visit. A picture of your home or any scene you like makes a warm personal greeting. There are many lovely new card designs for you to choose from. And folders, too, for black, white, or color prints. Photo greeting cards are easy and inexpensive to have made. Ask your Kodak dealer about them this week. And now Kodak invites you to enjoy... The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. Look, the next time you invite a couple of girls to a dance, let's not have them come from 60 miles away. Stop complaining and finish packing. Hey, how are the beds down to return? Not bad, why? I just want to make sure I get a good night's sleep. Are you kidding? I've seen you get a good night's sleep sitting in class. <laughs> Y'all set, fellas? Yeah, almost. You gonna miss us, Mom? Sure I am. But I must admit, it's gonna be fun to have a couple of daughters around for a change. <laughs> yeah, make you appreciate us more. Oh, I don't know. I'll take those. Well, you guys leaving so soon? Yeah, but I think I should warn you, Pop. This is only temporary. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so, eventually. They're just going down to the bus station to meet the girls. We'll see you a little later. Okay, fine. Bye. Bye. You know, this is going to be kind of an interesting experience. It'll give us a chance to see what it'd be like if we had a couple of teenage daughters. Would you like that? Well, it's kind of nice for a father. At that age, your girl thinks her dad is just about the greatest guy in the world. Of course, it'd be a little crowded around here. Two boys, two girls. Well, not only that, but girls are quite a responsibility. Oh, I don't think fathers of girls worry about them any more than fathers of boys. Well, I don't think it's a question of worrying exactly, but girls certainly require a different kind of an approach. Oh, in what way? Well, for instance, you never went down to the florist and bought flowers for the boys' room, did you? Well, no, of course not. Well, that's what I mean. Don't you think it'd be nice if you went down and bought some for the girls? Well, yeah, I guess so. That's a good-looking tie. Looks very nice on you. Oh, thank you. It ought to. It's mine. I think the girls will like these. I know my daughter likes roses. Yeah, I think most girls do. Well, how do you like the idea of having a couple of girls on your hands? Oh, I think I'm going to like it fine. Teenage girls around the house are a lot of fun. That's because you have two sons. If you had a couple of daughters to bring up, I think you'd feel a little different about it. Oh, come on now. Girls are no harder to bring up than boys. Well, yes, they are. For instance, uh, the fellas your daughter goes out with, no matter how nice he is, you find yourself worrying. Is he really a nice boy? Is he a good driver? Does he have enough money with him in case of an emergency? What time will he get your daughter home? Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Oh, oh, hi there, Wally. You know Mr. Phillips, don't you? Oh, sure. I'm taking his daughter to the dance tonight. Oh, well, you have nothing to worry about. Wally's a, a fine boy. Oh, I know he is. Well, thank you, Mr. Nelson. Here, have a cigar. <laughs> No, not that one. That one explodes. <laughs> I came in to buy a corsage for your daughter to wear tonight. Well, that's very thoughtful. How much do you plan to spend? Oh, about a dollar and a half. I thought an orchid would be nice. <laughs> it would be, but they're a little more expensive. Oh. Well, I thought since it's for your daughter... Well, why don't you come back around five? I'll see what I can do. Oh, gee, thanks. Don't grow anything special for me. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, Wally. <laughs> you see why I worry? Oh, well, you don't have to. Wally's a real nice boy. Oh, I suppose so. Do you think he needed a haircut? Well, I, I really didn't notice. I always do. Seems to indicate something about a boy's character. You know, I'm surprised the fathers of those girls who were visiting you allowed them to make the trip. Well, uh, one of them was a little concerned, but Mrs. Nelson talked to him on the phone and assured him we'd keep an eye on the girls. <laughs> yes, that makes you kind of a father by proxy. <laughs> I'll charge those for you. Well, thank you very much. Good luck, Dad. <laughs> Harriet! I'm upstairs! <laughs> Harriet. Oh, Adams and 
Joan Brown. Yeah, well, I, I brought some flowers for you. Oh, isn't that They're nice? They're just beautiful. Here, I'll put oh. them in water. Oh, thank you. Uh, where are David and Ricky? They went back to the fraternity house. They were having trouble with David's car. It kept stalling. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll take care of it. It sounded like the carburetor. I think the mixture's too lame. Oh, well, the <laughs> boys are, are pretty good mechanics. I'm sure they can take care of it. Well, just uh, make yourselves at home. If there's anything you want, just uh, let us know. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Nelson. Th thank, thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. <laughs> sure seems strange to hear girls giggling in this house. Sounds nice. <laughs> Yeah, they're a couple of nice kids. They certainly are. Oh, Mrs. Nelson, I didn't mean for you to press my dress. Oh, I wanted to. It isn't often I get a chance to help two girls dress for a date. Well, I'm usually the one that's helping the boys get ready to go out. There's usually a steady stream of traffic through that door. The boys come in to borrow my shirts, my ties, and cufflinks. <laughs> Could I borrow some bobby pins? Oh, now let's see. Uh... I think she's asking me. Oh! <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Nelson's department. Mr. Nelson, do you think I have too much lipstick on? Oh, I, I, it looks very nice to me. I always ask my dad before going out. Dad usually tells me without my asking. It's <laughs> <laughs> kidding, of course. Uh, while we're getting opinions, do you like my hair this way? Or do you think I should wear it up for the dance? Oh, gee, I don't know. It, 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 either way, it looks very nice to me. Here are the bobby pins, Joan. Oh. And here's your dress, Linda. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, what's... <laughs> uh, what, what, what time are the... Uh, what time are the boys uh, coming to pick you up? At seven. Oh, well, uh, I hate to hurry you, but it, it's almost that time. Oh, we'll get ready now. Uh. That wasn't necessary. What do you mean? To hurry the girls. You're beginning to sound like a father. Well, I am a father. I mean a father of girls. Oh, don't be silly. Harriet? Uh, do you think Joan did have too much lipstick on? Oh, well, don't worry about it. It'll come off. <laughs> now, just a second. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, when she eats dinner, it's bound to come off. Oh. <laughs> what did you think I meant? <laughs> Nelson, could you give me a hand? This zipper seems to be stuck. Oh, well, maybe Mrs. Nelson, but uh, Harriet... See, it doesn't seem to come open. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh, uh, Harriet, uh, are the girls ready yet? Oh, sure, they've been ready for about 15 minutes. Well, I wonder where David and Ricky are. It's 10 after 7. Well, don't worry about them. They'll be here. Hi, Pop. Hi, Pop. Boys, you're late. No, it's only 10 after 7. Well, you're supposed to be here at 7 o'clock. Are, are you usually as late as this when you go to pick up your dates? Uh, no, but we had trouble getting the car started. Oh. Can we come in? <laughs> Girls ready yet? Yeah. Been ready for about 15 minutes. Uh, Harriet, the, the boys are here. The girls will be down in about five minutes. <laughs> five minutes? They're not ready yet. But, but you told me they were ready... I told you they're not ready yet. <laughs> Come on and make yourselves at home, fellas. It's a pretty nice night. Yeah. What time does the dance start? About eight thirty. About 8.30. You fellas going right to the dance? Well, we're going to have dinner first. Of course. Oh, oh, y yes, yes, of course. A Mountain View Lodge. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> it has a, a nice atmosphere. Good food, too. Yeah, oh, uh, very good food. In fact, Mrs. Nelson and I, were, uh, that is, uh, <laughs> my mother and I were, were there a couple of weeks ago. The uh, dance will be over about uh, 12 or 12.30, I, I imagine. I think about 1 o'clock. Well, we, uh, we'll probably be home shortly after that. Well, not right away. We'll probably drive out someplace and get something to eat. <laughs> you just ate? Well, no, the dance is in between. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I, 
I imagine you'll have the girls home by about uh, two. Well, it'll probably be later than that. Oh? <laughs> I don't like to, to sound unreasonable. Well, hi. 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 You all set? Yeah. Let's go. Well, have a nice time. Thanks, Mr. Nelson. Good night, Mrs. Nelson, and thanks a lot. Good night, girls. Night, good night, night. Really. Good night. Good night. Good night. Don't worry about the girls. Oh, well, uh, drive carefully, Dave. Oh, I will. Good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Uh, good night, Mr. Nelson. It was nice meeting you. Oh. <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, Dave's just kidding. Hey, uh... Uh, Dave. Yeah? Didn't you get corsages for the girls? Well, yeah, they're out in the car. It's more fun pinning them on out there. <laughs> Girl's left her stole here. Oh, she probably didn't want to wear it tonight. Are you sure? It's kind of cold out. Don't worry, dear. Uh, worried? Uh, Harriet, uh, do you think Ricky needed a haircut? Well, no, not especially. I, I, I guess not. You know, Ricky and Joan make an awfully cute couple. Well, now, no, well, Harriet, uh, Joan is too young to get married. Well, who said anything about marriage? Besides, Ricky's too young to get married, too. Well, of course he is. Well, then what are you getting excited about? Well, I'm not getting excited. See, I hope they don't keep the girls out too late. Oh, they'll probably get home before we do. Well, we're not going out, are we? I thought we'd go to a movie later. Oh, well, gee, Harry, do you think we should? Why not? Well, I mean, suppose the girls... Oh, they'll be all right. Oh, <laughs> that's... That I, I gave them some mad money anyway. You gave them what? Well, I, I gave them each five dollars. You know, just in, in case of an emergency, the, you, you never know. Do you realize they're out with our son? <laughs> sure, but after all, they're our daughters. Now, to relax, Dad. You've got a big family to worry about tonight. <laughs> Tonight, I'd like to show you one of the world's great cameras, the magnificent new Retina Reflex by Kodak. This camera is for the professional and the advanced amateur. It's been acclaimed both here and abroad as one of the world's really great cameras. Now, here's another great Kodak camera, but in a completely different way. This is the Pony 2, a wonderful camera for people who are just getting started in color slides. Kodak Engineering, the engineering that produced this retina reflex, has made the Pony 2 so amazingly simple to use that now you can get color slides every bit as easily as snapshots. All you do to focus the Pony is turn this ring to close-ups, groups, or scenes, and you can be sure you'll get beautiful slides. Thousands of people, including the Nelson family, have found the Pony camera a real pleasure to use. It costs only $26.75, or as little as $3 down. Why not ask your Kodak dealer to demonstrate it for you? Just tell him you saw it on tonight's Ozzy and Harriet show. I don't know why you were in such a hurry to get home. At least we could have stayed until the finish of the picture. Well, I told you, I want to make sure we get home before the girls did. It's a lucky thing we left early. They're home already. No, they're not. Well, sure they are. The lights are all on. Well, we left them on. <laughs> girls! Linda! Joan! See, I told you they weren't home. I wonder where they are. Well, for goodness sakes, dear, it's only 12.30. Well, Harry, you don't seem to realize these girls are our responsibility. No, they're not. They're David and Ricky's responsibility. And David and Ricky are very responsible young men. Well, all I can say is it's a lucky thing we didn't have daughters. Honey, I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Harry, do you realize what time it is? About five minutes later than it was the last time you told me what time it was. Why don't you read? I, I just don't feel like reading. Wait a minute. Get her car drive in.
Oh, it's just the Darby's coming home. You know, uh, Dave's been having trouble with his car all day. Uh, we, we probably shouldn't have let him drive to the dance in it. Oh, if he has any trouble, I'm sure he'll phone. You think maybe I, I ought to go down there and see if he needs any help? He can take our car. Well, you don't even know where the dance is being held, do you? No, I don't. Mr. Phillips, he'll know while he's taking his daughter. Oh, well, he's probably asleep by now. Harriet, a father doesn't sleep when he's worried about his daughter. Uh, let me have the phone book, would you please? Thank you. Hello? Uh, hello, Mr. Phillips. Uh, this is Mr. Nelson. Uh, Ozzie Nelson? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello, Mr. Nelson. Uh, uh hi. Uh, I'm sorry to call you uh, at this late hour, but do you happen to know where the dance is, the, the dance the kids have gone to? Yeah, it's out at the country club. Why? Oh, well, I was just a little worried. See, uh, Dave's car hasn't been running too well. Well, it was running all right when they came by here to pick up Wally, my daughter. Oh, uh, th then you, you figure that there's nothing to be concerned about. No, of course not. Now go back to sleep, Mr. Nelson, and don't worry. <laughs> all right, thank you. Yeah, good night. Good night. You know, it's getting cold out. Want me to turn on the electric blanket? No, no, it's not cold in here. It's getting cold outside. Kind of reminds me of New Jersey around this time of the year. Whenever it started to get cold, I'd go down to the ice cream store and get some ice cream. They used to stay open late. Well, that makes a lot of sense, eating ice cream because it's getting cold. Oh, the, uh, they used to put hot fudge on it. <laughs> Harriet. No, thanks, but you go right ahead. <laughs> And don't forget Linda's stole. It's downstairs on the hall banister. <laughs> no, you're kidding. No, I'm not. Well, uh, anyway, as long as you brought it up, uh, I think I will just stop by at the dance and see what's going on. Okay, dear. Nelson, oh, how are you? Hi, Fred. Can I, I help you? Well, yeah, I was looking for Dave. If you see him, would you give him this, please? <laughs> when he start wearing these? <laughs> <laughs> it belongs to his date, of course. Well, he was here about an hour ago. Uh, I really don't know if he's left or not. Well, uh, they're not home. Gee. Well, Wally was with them. Maybe they went over to Ginger's house. Uh, no, I was talking to Ginger's father on the phone, and, and uh, uh, well, gee, I, I wonder where they are. Well, I don't know. Oh, Zeke? Have you seen Dave Nelson? No, I haven't. Oh, hi, is he? Hi, Mr. Nelson. Uh, he said he was coming to the dance here tonight. Oh, he's here a while ago. I'll page him for you. Well, th that won't be necessary. Oh, no trouble. I'll take a look in here. Okay. Attention, please. Attention, please. Would Dave Nelson please report to the hat check stand? His father's looking for him. <laughs> that ought to bring him right out, if only to punch me in the nose. I guess he's not here. Oh, I wouldn't worry about him, though, Mr. Nelson. Maybe he had a little car trouble. Oh, yeah, or maybe they stopped off to get something to eat. Sure. I'll tell him you're looking for him if I see him. Oh, well, thank you very much, and thank you, Zeke. Pleasure. Right, Just uh, trying to get the car door open. Is this your car? Uh, no. Stand against the car with your hands. Put your feet back here. Well, no, no. <laughs> right. Okay, Charlie, he's clean. Now, what's going on here? Uh, I, I've been trying to tell you, this is my son's car. See, he and my younger son uh, took my daughter's... Uh, not my daughter's, but uh, uh, their dates. See, uh, they're, they're staying at our house. Your son's? Uh, no, 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 uh, uh, my daughter's. Uh, not uh, my, my son's dates. Uh, my sons are staying at the fraternity house. Uh, uh, they don't live there. They're, they're staying there uh, tonight. Charlie, uh, get a balloon. <laughs> I'm not intoxicated. I, I can walk a straight line or touch my finger to my nose. I, I haven't had anything stronger to drink than an R&J down at the movies. Here. Here is my license. My thumbprint. Okay. 
Now, what were you doing with this car? Well, as I say, uh, this is my son's car, and uh, he and my younger boy took their dates to the country club dance tonight, and uh, I knew that my son had been having trouble with the car, so when they didn't get home, I went over to, to the country club to see if I could find them, but they weren't there, and so I was just driving along the road here, and I happened to see the car, so I figured I'd better stop and see if anything was wrong. The kids weren't here? No, I don't know where they are. You want us to put out a missing persons report on the air for you? Well, no, I don't think that would be necessary. They're not missing. It's just that I, I don't know where they are. I tell you, if you should happen to see them, though, I'd appreciate it if you'd tell them their father's looking for them. Yes, sir. Well, well thank you very much. Uh, good night, officers. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See that? He made a U-turn. I'll let the guy alone. He's got enough trouble for one night. <laughs> Think this'll be enough? Well, it will be for me. I don't know about the rest. He <laughs> knows I'll make some more. We sure appreciate this, Mom. We're starved. How far did you have to walk after the car broke down? Oh, ten miles at least. Oh, stop exaggerating. It was only about a mile to the gas station. Well, anyway, I'm hungry. Well, there's plenty more where those came. It was real exciting. Oh, <laughs> you know, it, it's a funny thing. I, oh, uh, Harriet, would you get that? Yeah, I got it. Oh, Fred, come huh. on in. Dave, Fred oh, here. Hi, Nelson. Hi, Fred. Oh, I see you found Dave. Oh, yeah, well, he was right here. Were you looking for me, Pop? Yeah, he came out to the country club and brought your stove. Oh, that's mine. Oh, uh, see, it, it was kind of cold out, and I thought you might need it. Oh, how thoughtful of you. That's just what my father would have done. You weren't worried about us, were you, Pop? Oh! <laughs> oh silly, Dave. I don't get it. Uh, well, I... Oh, I saved uh, the, uh, the bell. <laughs> Mr. Phillips! Well, Mr. Nelson, have you heard any news? Well, everybody's here. Oh, I see you found them. Well, Dad, what are you doing up at this hour? Well, I was kind of worried about you. Well, you knew I was out with Wally. <laughs> That's what he was worried about. <laughs> Everything's fine. Well, I figured it was, but after your phone call, I started to worry. Well, you told me not to worry. <laughs> well, it's like I was telling you this afternoon. You worry more when you have a daughter. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess... Maybe you're right at that. Ozzy. Oh, uh, pardon me. We've got some more company. Mr. Nelson? Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Did you make too much noise? No, sir, but uh, we thought you might want to talk to this fellow. So what did I do? Look, mister, I get a call from a gas station, so I drive out there and pick up these six kids. The fare is $7.90. Two of the girls give me five bucks apiece. And one of the kids says, keep the change. My old man could afford it. <laughs> Looks like your mad money came in handy. Well, well, you know, how can I go? Yeah, I guess so. Wouldn't you all like to stay and have a cup of coffee with us? Well, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Nelson. A cream and sugar in mine, please. <laughs> Mr. Nelson, better watch those U-turns. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ozzy, I just happened to think of something. How are the boys going to get back to the fraternity house? Well, they took our car. Uh, they're taking Ginger home and then driving over to the fraternity. What about David's car? Well, he'll probably pick it up tomorrow. Is that what he said? <laughs> well, no, but I'm sure he will. Well, do you think it's all right out there on the highway? <laughs> For goodness sakes, will you go to sleep? I've never seen anybody worry like you do. <laughs> okay, dear. Next week, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet will be brought to you by the Quaker Oats Company, makers of fine foods for the whole family. Now a word about one of the many fine Quaker products. I wonder what Ozzie would like for breakfast tomorrow. This morning we had peach blended oatmeal. You know, sliced peaches blended right in while the oatmeal cooked. He loved that. I know. I'll try it with applesauce tomorrow. And now for that applesauce blended oatmeal, I just make our Quaker oats the regular way. Then while it cooks, I blend in the applesauce. One cup per four servings of oatmeal. And the nice tangy applesauce flavor blends into every spoonful of the Quaker oats. There you are, man. Applesauce and your oatmeal. Good, huh? Yeah. 
And how about pineapple? That's a good idea. Or strawberries. Sure, we'll try them all. We'll have a different oatmeal breakfast every day. Sure, try them all. Delicious fruit blended oatmeal made with nourishing Quaker oats or mother's oats. The same high protein oatmeal. <laughs> to you on film by Eastman Kodak Company, who invite you to enjoy the Ed Sullivan Show on another network and remind you that now is the time to take a new picture for your photo greeting cards, the cards that only you can send.